just seen another video from some girl getting a damn unnecessary ass BBL in which she almost died. Let me tell y'all something. I have bagged the finest niggas with my fupa. That right there, they love it. I don't know who been lying to y'all. I don't know why y'all believe that shit. I got stretch marks. I got discoloration on the back of my thigh, honey. Okay, my titties long. <laughs> and I'm still getting taken out. They still lick my balloon knot. They still right on that clitoris. Girl, talking about some, I'm doing this for myself. You can't even see your body when you're standing up. The only time you can see your body is when you're looking in the mirror. Are you sure you're doing this for yourself? Because if you're talking about some, I just want to look good for him. Girl, why y'all fucking, half the time, if you got good coochie, his eyes going to be closed because he don't want to bust. So he's not even looking at you. Like, help me, help make it make sense. I don't understand. People are dying for fat transfers. <coughs> you telling me, excuse me, I just had a little sweet potato pie <coughs> at four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I'm not concerned. I'm not. Look, girl, I look good. This look good. I look good. <laughs> Why y'all can't look at yourself and just say that? Do I have days where I think I'm ugly? Yes. Girl, yes. But on all of those days, I know that I could snatch a nigga soul. It don't matter. <laughs> like, it don't matter. I need to put this bun to the side, though, because my neck has been hurting. I'm going to call one of them ugly boys over here to rub my neck. But <laughs> I'm laughing because it really hurts me that People are feeling so pressured to look perfect. They are literally risking their lives. And you guys are saying that it's because you love yourself. But if you're really honest with yourself, y'all don't love yourself. Because the one thing that humans have above all else is self-preservation. And you are willing to risk your entire existence for an aesthetic that is going to change even when you get old. These girls have these injections and they y'all have to understand the way your body operates and it's it's going to attack it like it's a foreign object being implanted into your body even if it is a transfer there are so many other issues that these girls pneumonia blood clotting they're they're not uh um what's the word they're not uh, getting the, the cost right. Like, you, you got these houses that you have to go to afterwards and they want you to pay rent and you got to get massages and y'all up in there ain't got the money then a goddamn blood vessel go up in your neck or something and you die. And I'm like, wow. I was mad at my doctor for giving me a C-section and I was almost 300 pounds and I was like, nigga, let me push. I couldn't even push. The baby was going to die. That was necessary. I don't know who need to tell you this. But whoever this is for, baby, you are beautiful. Okay? And all you men out there who have these girlfriends, who you are telling that it's okay to get surgery, you ain't shit. Because if your girlfriend die, so you can have a girl that you feel like needs to look like these bitches who you be scrolling through on Instagram... You ain't shit. Damn. Make me sick. I love her. If you loved her, she'd love herself a little bit more. It wouldn't bother her. I ain't never had them problems. Like, but I think it's really because I don't give a fuck about what niggas think. <laughs> I think they got a lot to do with it. So I'm going to do what I want to do because that's just how I am. <laughs> okay. Damn, it still smells good. <laughs> Just, oh, wow. And she was already so small. Y'all just lazy. Take your motherfucking ass to the gym. Chill out on the rice. Chill out on the bread. Chill out on the peas. Chill out on the plantain. And you'll be all right, girl. It's really not even that hard. You fuck up because you go through emotional things. And the food that we are eating is... 
It got shit in it that make you crave it right when you start feeling away. So you really just fighting a food addiction. And y'all don't even be thinking about that. But you'll take your ass up here to this doctor and let them cut you open and trust them with your life like you're nothing more than a series of numbers and commas to them. You're a check. You think they give a fuck if you die? As long as your payment go through, they don't care if you die. Think about that. We can't trust the people who feed us. Why are y'all trusting people to cut y'all open who is doing who ain't who ain't doing nothing but servicing you for vanity reasons? And throughout the con I've watched uh what was that show? Something about the Atlanta uh surgeons or whatever it was. Y'all know comment down below if you know what I'm talking about. But it's like the surgeons when they do these consultations, everyone always gives the same bullshit. And I'm doing this for me. And the doctors be like, we just want to make sure that the, that the person is doing it for themselves. But when I listen to it, all I hear is that the doctor is wanting to hear an insecure person. So they know for a fact they're not going to back out of surgery. Oh, Lord. All my friends, up. Uh, it's 12 o'clock in the morning. It's Thanksgiving. Why everybody up? Uh, Everybody's up. It's 12 o'clock over here. My best friend over here in San Diego. And she up too. But yes, I'm not. I, I mean, but to each his own, baby. But let me just, just, just be sure you're sure you're sure you're sure. Ask yourself if you were to die, would it be worth it? And then tell me you okay with getting the surgery. Like, just tell me that. Now, if you five, 600, 700 pounds and you can't even get up out of bed, Go and get you a little sleeve. You know what I'm saying? Just to help you figure that situation out so you can get your ass out of bed. But if that's not your situation, honey, no. Honey, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because he ain't going to do that. But you don't. You put a bitch who look like me. <laughs> With this scooper. <laughs> that's what he going to do. I'm telling you. I'm tell that's what he's going to do. Because it's not the fupa that's going to get him. It's not this uh ass. Uh, to waste ratio is the confidence. It's the confidence. I'm telling you, it is how you see yourself. It has nothing to do with what you look like. Cause a lot of them girls ain't got a like a got confidence like a motherfucking penny with a hole in it. Ain't none. <laughs> it ain't worth it. God damn, my teacher oil is not working. I need to drink some more water. But see how I do that? I don't need another fade cream. I need to drink some more water. It starts on the inside. But I'm going to shut up. But um, that's all I had to say. I Hopefully, if, if you are considering getting a surgery, that you just reconsider. Ask yourself that one question. If I died on this table, would it be worth it? Think about your kids. Think about your man. Think about your future. All of these things that you, you're saying, you know what? I'll forfeit them just for a smaller tummy and a fatter ass. Because half the time, baby, it's... This is crazy, the amount of women who are having complications, the amount of women who are dying, and they're black women. Come on, y'all. Y'all know damn well everybody want to look like us. Everybody. They want to talk like us. They want to walk like us. They want to look like us. They want to smell like us. They want their skin like us. And you're doing what? For who? <laughs> Why? You better bask in your ambiance. So fuck that. I'm not gonna do it. Mm -mm. And if he will not lick me from the rooter to the tutor, just how I'm looking like this, then he don't deserve a whiff. <laughs> That's just that. I hope that helps. Bye, girl.